Hey guys, it's Get Matrix here. We are starting a new series, kind of like Smacking Sweaties, but we don't know what to call it. So if you have any ideas, you can throw them in the comments section and hopefully we'll have some name to come up with. Uh, this commentary is done by Jesse Oliveras. Hopefully you guys enjoy. And he does sound gay the whole time. What's up guys, this is Jesse Oliveras here. And let's start this commentary off by saying some things off my mind. The first thing I want to talk about is why do we anti? Well, the reason is because people with good stats always stay against kids with no sums, and they will not play against kids with sums with like it's one KD or higher. And the second thing is like when you get in a line with those kids with like good stats, like a six KD or higher, and you just play like with a full party with three KDs, they back out against you. They just don't want to hurt their stats. Like, what's so good about your stats if you don't want to play against tryhards sometimes? Like, you're always going to play against a tryhard with, like, a 1KD with Ghost, C4, and then a massive procedure with a 1KD. And the other thing is I want to talk about is, like, when you make a dummy account with, like, a .80 KD and a .40 win loss and a low SPM, but your gun KD's just garbage... And you join that person's session with like a 9KD, like the, the score's like 80 to 0, and you smack them late session, you just, and when they dash, they just send you messages saying, play me on your main. Like, when you do get on your main, they back out. Like, are they that scared and they'll not face tryhards at all? Like, not even one match? Like, uh, like play some variety, like... You're not going to play against kids with no sums like every day with your freaking Call of Duty career. Like, it's not going to make you better. Like, be happy with your, like, 4 KDs and, like, a 10 win loss and who cares. Like, face some tryhards. Like, I'm, I even know I'm not the best. I know there's people better than me. But still, don't worry about your stats that much. Like, don't hold a 9 KD and then be like, oh, I want to play. I don't know. They're antis. Back you out. I'm going to dash because I got smacked by one kid. My KD. Oh, my KD. Don't be like one of those guys. Who rely on your friends with VSATs. Just a high back of the map like most kids do for their fake 9 KD that they obviously dash. Like, that's not fun. Like, running around is fun, but just don't worry about your KD. Be happy what it is. And last thing I want to talk about and time before we get to the next topic is there's some games that you can't come back because it's like 90 to like 10, like at least 50 seconds and you, they have VSATs, Dogs, and Swarm and you guarantee that you could smack them and most likely you did because a couple of games ago or maybe uh, later back you already anti them and they just talk shit to you saying get smacked by joining late like... Are people really that stupid? Like, you smack them before, and they, just because one game you join late, like, un, you can't come back from it. They feel so powerful, like, I'm better than you, ha 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 ha. But yet, they won't stay next match just to face you, they just back out. They're like, nah, my KD, my fake ass KD. Off to the next topic, let's talk about KD counts. Yes, this is a gameplay of KD Counts getting smacked by me, Get Matrix, and SLT and T before we changed our antis a while back ago. But still, what I think about KD Counts? Well, I think he's so ignorant that he's just trying to redeem himself even though he got smacked a hundred times by actual good kids. And like, why are you trying to be so superior and thinking you're so better than me and some other people even though we smack you? Like, we guarantee that we could smack you, Katie Counts, on this actual scrim competitive rules. Like, you're the biggest lying faggot I have ever heard of, and I don't want to know why are you just being like this. Like, how stupid can you get? Like, who cares you lose? Stop talking shit saying you're better than everyone or acting like you're better than everyone. Like, of course we lose, but still, don't act like you're better than us even though you beat us like once. Like, just because you beat us once doesn't mean you're better than us. Like, we smacked you. Like, I guarantee I know a bunch of people that smacked you, like, 900 times just, like, prospering and you just still keep talking shit to them like you hate them. And I guarantee, I like, for those of you who think I'm wrong, I guarantee I anti you back in the old days. Like, 75% of you 
a multi-team with like four KDs or higher back in the old days before I even played with Matrix and TNT. But still, I guarantee I anti with most of you and made you dash on Wiggy McPiggy. But still, like, even though I do lose, I do not talk shit. Like, even though it does seem like I am because from... Because some people ratting me out. But still, there's some situations I can't do anything, like... What you call it? When I lose against Mags on that one time I try anti him, I just I couldn't do anything. Like I keep getting outgunned when I shoot him first. Like I'm not talking shit. Like I know he's good, but still, like I wish I could be as good as him, to be honest, but what you call it. But that's not the point. Like the point is, like, there are people better than me and I can't do anything. I'm not gonna talk shit or anything, but but still, it was a good game when I, like, we lost by two hard points, but still, I thought it was a good game still. I wasn't, I wasn't mad, I was just mad I couldn't do anything, I just keep getting outgunned. Like, it was still a good game, but still. And the best thing about when you anti-kids, like, bad kids, like, people in Fatal Impact, when you see them dash, just send them a message saying GG scrub. I guarantee you're gonna get a message saying 1v1 me scrub, or 4v4 scrim question mark. Like, honestly, why are they trying to prove themselves wrong? I just can't. Last thing I want to talk about before I'm done with this commentary is, why do you reset for stats that you can't hold? Like, I guarantee most of you, like, reset, like, not because you have a 1KD or anything, but most of the people I know reset because when they have a 4KD, they just want it higher. And there's people I know who, who actually hold 6KDs or 7 legitimately. And they reset, like, they're holding nines, and they can't even hold it, and they're not enjoying the game anymore. And I used to be like that, I'm not gonna lie, like, even though I do have good stats, but still, I'm dropping them. I don't care about them, to be honest, anymore. Like, I'm gonna drop my stats, I don't care. I just wanna get Master Prestige to be done with this game. Like, just have fun with the game now. You can't hold stats like that anymore. Don't be a booster like most people are. Like, even though I did boost, but still... I'm st I still guarantee I'm better than most of you in eights, which is the funny part. That is it for today, and if you're new here, please like, favorite, and subscribe. And if you enjoy my commentary, uh, put swag in the comments with a smiley face. I will really appreciate it. If you don't, I will come to your house and donkey punch you in the face. Just kidding. As I said, uh, if you enjoy it, just please type in swag in the comments below and enjoy the video. Thank you very much for your time.